Uh, what is going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to this episode of the Cleveland State Lacrosse Dynasty. Uh, we are in our second game of our second season in this episode and going to be taking on the UMass Lowell uh, Riverhawks. Uh, both teams uh, in this contest won their first game of the season. Uh, I saw that UMass Lowell defeated Lehigh 16-12, to and we obviously had the big win against uh, Penn State. So, uh, like I said, two, two 1 0 teams trying to get that second victory of the season. This is a team that I haven't played yet in this dynasty, so should be interesting. And it is a road game. I'm so, we're uh, at their, at their Hello, house for this one. Nothing but clear skies for players and fans alike here at Newark Stadium. Should be a clear night. I hadn't worn the black jerseys in a few games, so I decided to bust them out for this game. UMass Lowell wearing the blues, obviously. The ref signals the players at the X. We are underway. And we Connor are underway. takes the opening face off. Patrick Walsh. Go into our customary 141 formation. Looks to shoot. Knocked loose. Braswell. Oh, my momentum just carried me into the, the crease that time, so unfortunately not goal. able to come away Full with any uh, scoring opportunity there in our first first go at it. Price with the catch. The ball goes to the ground. Oh nice save Green by our goal that time. For them now. Team captain over. We just look, look to clear. Ten. Ball top right. Ball side right. Riley. Ball side left. Ten. Ten. Has a look. The ball goes oh, to the. But I had the bounce shot that time. Recovered. Doesn't go for us. Oh. Shoots. The ball goes to the ground. Low. Come up with the possession. Chance for them now. Let's it rip. Knocked loose. And first. Oh, they finally forced it in. I was wondering how many <laughs> in close shots they were gonna give it where they finally made it. A nice shot though. We find ourselves down. Uh, if you one have zip. a good face off guy, it can be make it take it lacrosse. Conrad wins it for the away team. It's terrain coming away with it. Tosses it into Dave Little. 30. Knocked loose. Puts it wide. McElvain. With the chance. Bam, break goal. I finally was able to split the defense and uh, get us our first goal of the match. Right through the goalie's legs, so we're all tied at one apiece now. Just kind of just feeling this team out. Conrad comes up with it again. The away team showing up their opposition at the X here today. Here's a look. Sails wide. Decent look at it that time. Shot goes a little wide. Six. Takes the shot. I definitely do notice the teams play a similar way in this game. Like, I played Air Force a couple times. I played Maryland a couple times. So you kind of start to learn their styles of play. We get our second goal of the game right there. But like I said, I've not played this uh, Riverhawk team yet. So where teams can so I don't really know themselves. if they like to play fast or slow or, or anything about them really, aside from the fact they won their first game of the season. Right. 
Okay. Walsh drops the hammer. Oh, I had some good ball movement that time. The away team. Come up with it. Nice save by their goalie. Oh, I the assumed there would have been somebody there to catch that pass. It was just a pass to nobody, unfortunately. Takes the shot. The shot is off target. We run back to get the uh, backup, but obviously couldn't get there in time for that. Has time. Goal. Walters nails it, and the scores are now level. We just gave up the goal at point blank range that time. Starting again here Two apiece now. Between Cheval and Conrad. Conrad gets the step yet again. He is playing well. Atkerson dodging. Hard to keep the pressure on with plays like that. Ground ball. The away team recover. He launches one. Oh, I had a good, uh, good look at it that time. Goalie makes another nice stop. Erickson. Price gets in and rips. John catches that John one. makes a nice save. The away team with the chance now. We're going back the other way. There's a little up to Nick Prune. Jumping it into Burgoyne. Walsh hits the ball. Oh, could misses. have sworn that one went in. Bounces right back out though, unfortunately. Riley. Steven Riley up top. Over to Dave Little. Marin scores. Oh, we finally are able to work it in there and score. So uh, UMass little defense really pushing us. That was a very nice goal, just hitting the uh, far post. That was a nifty little pass he tossed to him there too. It was underhanded actually. It's three, two. Conrad still doing work at the faceoff at the X. Conrad making them look pretty ordinary so far. Keeping the ball moving. Let's one fly. Shot is high and over the goal. Green ball. I'm just gonna dive shot. in. The oh, their goalie the makes another and nice stop. Steps in and shoots and saves. We're gonna look to push now. Atkerson has a look. Now we find Logan Ackerson. Too quick and too explosive. Glorious goal. He's proven to be really effective over last season and uh, beginning of this season, finding the net, especially when he's Set left wide open like restart. that. It's four, two for the away team. Good job. Twenty-eight seconds left now. Maybe chance for one more good opportunity the for the Go quarter ends. Here's a shot for Oh, that looks like a good look. Unfortunately, they're going to have a chance to score now. Erickson. Brings the heat. Goes high. Hawk pride ball. Just one second left on the clock at this point. They're going to have to let it fly. And they won't even take a shot. The away team so that's, the, that's it for the first quarter. They, head to the break with a narrow lead after what turned out to be a high they really made us work quarter. to get our uh, two goal advantage. We'll just kind of try and keep pushing, try and it's four, two. see if we can't build team. on that. Cheval wins the face off. I'm gonna take that opening face off of the second quarter. Haber. The ball oh, goes we're to the ground. successfully uh, to able to knock the ball out. Really nice defense. Just long stick DJ Plumer coming down. And wide of the Letting a shot fly. And just let that go out of bounds. 
I always get a little nervous picking it up near the end line. Riley. It's sometimes hard to There's stop your momentum Izzy. from carrying you straight out of bounds. Oh, they get a really nice goal that time. So you heard it ping off the uh, bar. Wow, that was gorgeous. And off my goalie's back, too. And did it trickle in, or was it maybe it was already in? No, I think my goalie actually knocked it in. Oh, that's a killer. Face-offs are enormous in lacrosse. Let's see who comes away with it. Conrad gets in first, and the away team have the advantage. 30 has time. Too wide on that shot. Shot goes wide again. See space. Shoots. Oh, that time we're able to find the open man. Very nice. He's just left all alone, buries it in the bottom corner. Against Conran. Watch them scrap, even if they don't win the initial draw. Nice win on the faceoff. Conran comes out on top. Conran takes it to Braswell. With the bullet shot and why? Well, we're ball. struggling a little bit with our shot accuracy today. Braswell shoots. I put another one off net. So I just run away from the pressure. And a shot. Hawk pride ball. I have no idea what the penalty was there. Owens receives the pass. Referee not happy at all. Twenty gets they flagged. They get a crease violation. A ball goes back to the Vikings. Oh, terrain with a very nice dodge. The away team oh, and then the pass just gets away from us. Chance here goes wide. Hawk pride ball. Looks to shoot. Oh, nice save by our goalie. Comes pretty far out of the net. It's terrain in midfield. Dodges. Throws another dodge on. Oh, Gives very nice moves. And, wide. and just sends the shot wide. Transition opportunity for the away Ah, team. that was dangerous pass. Forty eight. Shoots. And finds the back of the Oh, and they once again hit the post. We've got a tight contest here. I mean, we we're feeling pretty good after our last victory against Penn State, but Every any team is, is dangerous Let's in this game, especially when you're playing on the highest difficulty setting. So, Low wins the face -off and they get a I'm like not surprised. Can he bury? Why did the goal with that shot, shot went off the side of the net that time. U.S. Lowell looking to tie the game up. Walters overstepping. There'll be a call for the crease violation. Ball back there. to Cleveland Lowell State. Lose possession. Kate Ferris gets it to Leroy Marin. Finds some space. Prune keeping it moving. To the back of the net. Gets it to Jackson Braswell. Hits the goal. Two goals in the game now for him. Second, yeah, second one of the game. Yeah, he is just lethal coming in from the corners. Face-offs are an all-out battle for possession. A couple minutes Lowell left before halftime now. Like we'll look to wins it for Lowell. keep pressing. Price buries it. Oh, and UMass Lowell just comes right back with the equalizer. My goalie's just too slow. It all starts here. 
Who will come up with this face-off? Conrad wins the face-off. Everett scoops it up. Oh, here's the Riley. Up the and goes, boom. That one's flying off of something. I couldn't tell if it hit the goalie or the post. With the shot, puts it wide. Uh, another inaccurate shot. And he shoots. What a rip from Riley. Ah, uh, Riley. That time finally able to put one on net. Coming over the middle. Play resumes. We're underway again here. Their advantage goes back up to two. It's never been higher than that today. I've been trying to get it up to three. That's when I can start to feel a little bit comfortable with the lead. Oh, Rick Lip is getting super pressured. Little picks it up. Shot goes wide though. About a minute and a half left. Cleveland State continues to have issues. As I say that, we just turn it over. How he tight roped the crease that time. Is it uh, UMass Lowell's not going away? They keep matching us goal for goal. Here we go. Face off again here at Newark Stadium. Cheval wins it for Lowell. Collins has a look. They try a deep shot. Simpson collects. Steps in and oh, he just let Simpson, our long stick, run around, and he finally gets the goal. Just weaving his way through the defense. Great individual effort. Nobody really picked him up. He just kind of cruised behind everybody. Down to the face off for a huge possession. 48 seconds left now before halftime. Cheval wins the face off. The Vikings starting to give up some face offs, unfortunately. So turnover here, the away team. John coming away with the save. The Vikings will look hold for the last shot. Just Run a little bit of clock here. Jones. With a chance. Flies over the top. Okay. 19 seconds now. Ah, oh, I tried a risky pass. Obviously didn't pay off. 14 seconds left on the clock now for UMass Lowell to try and do something with it. Gets the pass. Ooh, wide shot. There. One second left like now. It might be all right. Ball. And that marks the halfway point in this ball game. And the away team managing to increase their lead over their opponents. Ooh, this is this is definitely a close it's close eight, game. Six. Here at Newark Stadium. Let's take a look at the stats at halftime. Oh, we've been wait, winning the faceoff battle, but. 11 to 5. I usually like to see that a little, even a little higher than that. Uh, yeah, it's probably like to see some more ball movement as well. They're out passing us. So those two things, I think, if we can improve in the second half, the players hopefully the earn us the ready. victory. Here we go again. It's 8-6. I mean, we we built ourselves a little lead, but at the same time, I know that we can play better than what we've been playing so far in this game. Slings it, sails wide. Yeah, the shot accuracy has been a big issue so far. Oh, we find a space. But their goalie makes a nice stop. Another stop, and then we get the crease violation. Price. 
Garofalo. Offside left. Ball stop center. Walter. Ball stop center. Ball side left. Ball to back. Oh, yep. Not surprised. They get another decision. crease violation. Let's see what they can Feels do. like they've had a lot of those today. McIlvain. They're making this work in the midfield. Live with a nice dodge. Oh, oh he no. just gets laid out. out. Of my way, he says. And sends it loose. And it's oh, I over. And swore that I had him possession. beat to that ground ball, but not able to come away with it, unfortunately. Misses. It's really hard to recover, oh, I've noticed, in this game. If you, as they score a goal, if you are chasing a ground ball against the computer, unless you've got a really significant jump on getting to it, they're going to win it nine times out of ten. Important face-off again between Cheval and Conran. Conran gets in first, and the away team has the advantage. Nice uh, win at the face-off X that time. Now we get it to Braswell, gets the hat trick. It's kind of been our go-to guy. Gets laid at slow motion laid out, but scored, so it was all worth it, I'm sure. Nine seven Cleveland State now. Play. It's nine seven for the away team. Nice win on the faceoff. Cheval comes out on top. He lets it go. Just two. Ho ho! Big shot that time from UMass Lowell. Did it, it looked like it actually skipped off my goalie. Like maybe hit his uh, torso. Here we go now for the reset. Cheval cinches it and oh, we're starting to have some issues with the face off X. Oh, oh nice save by John. John with the save. See space shoots and just kind of wanted to dump target. that one off before I got jostled anymore. Goes for the shot. Blue ball. So I really don't know. That's the second time this game that we've had that sort of turnover, and I'm not really sure what it means exactly, or what I'm doing to cause that. Misses high. Hawk pride ball. Price. Erickson. Knock the ball out. We'll just let it go. I'll be coming back our way. Good defense that time by the Vikings. Six. Braswell. Slides through. Ball was turned over. Transition opportunity. Oh, he pretty much just took that team. out of my stick. Ball stop center. Ball side right. Ball side left. Garofalo. Ball side left. Erickson. Take another crease Blue violation. Now we finally are able to find an open man. It's like slogging my way through molasses against this defense. I'm not sure if they just have a 
a really solid defensive team or it's the sets that or the the type of D that they're playing against me but whatever they're doing it's it's if making me really work with these guy, goals it can be make it take it lacrosse very different than some of the games we played recently where you've just been kind of like blowing people out. That was a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. Like when there's a ground ball, the computer is almost always going to get it. I actually had a man as they get one back there. I had a man closer to the ball in that situation, but he, he kind of just like ran away from the ball. So... <laughs> I've kind of just come to expect Back anytime to the there's a ground ball, computer is almost always going to come up with it. Conrad, At least on this, like, all-American difficulty level. I don't mean, that might be different on, with the shot. Don't stand on the tracks some of the, the lower difficulty levels. Low. Oh, it's more nice defense that time with the stick check thrown. Vikings get the ball back. There's a shot. Scores. Get it to Braswell. It's been so money this game. I think that's his fourth goal now. That was kind of like a no look shot. Cheval for low. Conrad for the away team. Here again to face off. Conran wins it. Gets in first. Just under a minute left. Have the advantage. In this third quarter. Ten. Creating space. Ferris throwing some dodges. Gets it to Braswell. He'll back it out. Ten. Saved by the goal. Oh, and I thought I had the goal that time. It hit the post, unfortunately. Christian John now. makes a nice save. 14 ticks left now. Little. Vikings got to work quick if we're going to get one last opportunity Walsh here. Walsh. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. Walsh coming away with the big goal right before the quarter end. And the bounce shot. He spun off of his defender. I just see it right here. It was a really nice dodge. Split the defense. Textbook uh, offense that time. Off is important. Let's see who comes away with it here. Conrad wins the face off. And just one second left in the quarter. And an action packed third quarter comes to a close. Goals are plenty. The away team. Come out of it though with a very healthy lead. So we got our Still biggest lead of the game the now, 12-9. It's 12-9. Just uh, one more quarter to go. See so if we can't protect this three-goal lead. Starts here. Who and, uh, will escape come up with this face-off? Lowell with a win. Hawk Pride ball. The yeah, anytime they get it to a guy right in front of the goal like that, it's the same thing like the ground ball situation. Nine times out of ten, that's going to be a goal. The defender is just flailing his stick. So that wasn't great. Twelve seconds in, they cut our advantage to two. Conrad wins the faceoff, thankfully. And we get it to Burgoyne, who gets the goal. That was huge. We just got to keep Set and ready dumping it down there and attacking quickly. For the away team. Conrad, wins the face -off. Conrad coming away with the, another faceoff for us. Right. Rips it in and oh, he tried another Burgoyne shot. That one goes wide. Opportunity uh, for the that pass, team. not sure what happened to that. Looked like he kind of flipped it up oh, casually and just got away from him. Right. Oh, 
twice. Steps in to shoot. Flies over the top. Blue ball. Walters. He takes the shot. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. He's absolutely killing it at Newark Stadium. He's responsible for more than half of his team's goals so far. The away team need to come up with a better plan to slow. Oh, is that true? One guy has over half the goals for them. He tell that Erickson guy has got six goals. Pull him down. Eyes on the X now for the restart. He's pretty much just camping out in the middle there. We just keep dumping to him. He keeps hitting it. Conran wins it for the away team. DJ Flumer running down. With the shot, goes wide. Three I'm never ball. afraid to try shots with my log sticks. Seems to work out more often than not. If I can get the shot on net, that is. 30. Has a look. Straight to the keeper. I was actually trying to get it to the other guy in front of the net in that situation. Oh. Both center. Both side left. Both top center. Both side right. Erickson. Now, that's not surprising. Erickson gets another goal. Seven goals now. Erickson is making a mockery of the defense here today. He's just dicing us up. Players at the X are ready. Here we go again. It's 13 12. Conran cinches it, and the away team goes straight on attack. We really need to see if we can't kind of slow the game down. Protect this lead. So I got the crease violation that time. So turnover here, the away team to Finally are able to stop Erickson at least once. Miscalculation there. 20. Taking things a little too far there, and the ref flags him. Simpson. Takes the shot. Ooh, wide shot there. He'd like to have that back. Left. McElvain with time and room. Sales wide. Shots just, I can't seem to get it on the net. It's been an issue this entire game, unfortunately. Walsh. And they're pretty much on top of us. Every pass that I make. Oh, and they eventually get to us. There's two minutes left now. Vikings trying to hang on. Oh, Plumer comes up with an absolutely huge interception. Vikings will bring this all the way down. I'm just try and run a little bit of clock here. Swing it to Plumer, to Walsh. Oh, he comes away with a huge goal. He's getting pressured, too. I wasn't really expecting that to go in, if I'm being honest. As you can see, the defender was all up in my grill. I knew I pretty much had no choice but to shoot it there. Otherwise, it's going to be a turnover. You get lucky. Ball goes in. Two goal lead with a minute and a half left. Nice win on the face oh, and they come away with the face-off. Right. John makes a big John save. Wasn't having a bar of that one. Transition opportunity now. They're having issues clearing it. Oh, there we go. Jones. We're just going to really look to burn the clock now with a two-goal lead. Keep the pressure on with plays like that. Ground ball. Ah, thought there was a man back there. Nicely recovered. 
Yeah, see, it's so hard to pick the ball up and not go out of bounds. I was, like, aware of that right there and tried not to do it, but it still just stepped on the line. Yeah, well, not too surprised with that call. The away now, luckily, they turn it right back over now. to us. There's 43 seconds left now. We're not even going to need to shoot it. We should just be able to kind of hold on to it. And they've lost it. Oh, so well, I say that. How a horrible turnover. Oh, but they can't put the ball on net. They had a wide open net. This has been a crazy finish to this game. Take it yet another crease violation. Taking things a little too far there, and the ref flags him. Man, we have struggled in this game. I think we're gonna come away with a win, but this is not our finest performance. Finally able to get the ball into the offensive zone. We'll just back it out and burn these final seconds off. With the shot. Saved by the goalie. Keeping goal One last shot gets saved. Job too. That's the final whistle. And the away team have it by a narrow margin. Frustration for low. They fought hard to regain the lead after losing it early in the ball game, but the deficit was too much. We to will survive. The the away team uh, win it. Final score 14. Total 12. team effort for sure in this game. As you can see, Erickson from UMass Lowell wins MVP, rightfully so, with his seven goals. Uh, yeah, it's. I'd say we. We did all right. I'm happy we came away with a win, obviously. Braswell was really big for us. I think. This team is just not quite as talented as my team from the season one, so it's probably just going to take a little more finesse with uh, how I play and, and stuff like that. I can't just rely as much on pure ability because we lost a lot of our star players. But that being said, uh, we do get the our second victory of the season. We're 2-0 and after this game, and next week we're taking on uh, Denver Pioneers, so I'm sure that'll be another tough, tough contest for, for our young team. And uh, keep, try and keep this uh, winning streak going. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's going to be the video. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely look out for the next video coming up soon here. Alright guys, peace.